In conjunction with Chris Pinfold from the University of South Australia, we've been trialling some saltbush here in some of our interrows. Uh, we just wanted to see if we can find a better way to manage our interrow, something that's more suited to the natural environment and something that'll hopefully uh, make the management of the vineyard a bit easier. It's very well suited to the local environment, so it should thrive here. Uh, it's naturally uh, endemic to the area and it volunteers across most of the vineyard. It's definitely saved us uh, on weed control. The salt bush acts as a natural weed mat and it keeps the weed growth down. So that's been very, very effective so far. Hopefully it'll save us on chemical weed control costs and physical weed control costs like slashing. The salt bush fits in with the overall Brown Brothers ethos. Uh, we're trying to manage the vineyard holistically. Um, it's a native species, so it's good for for the environment, it's good for native insects, it's good for weed control and it doesn't need much help, it just gets along on the natural rainfall and does well in any quality soil. It volunteers just about everywhere and where we've sowed it it's done exceptionally well. Uh, we're just hoping that it makes our life a bit easier. The potential benefits I think of growing the natives between the vines and, and here talking again mostly about saltbush, enhancing biodiversity for instance, improving soil health and improving economic returns to the growers as well. Natives are much better suited to this environment. They've evolved over thousands of years. The costs involved in establishing saltbush are reasonable. I think what we have to consider is that we're growing a perennial species. And as a perennial, our costs can be amortised over many years. We still don't really know just how long these are going to last within the vineyard, but we'd expect a minimum of five years. We'd like to see 10 and possibly even more than that. And they'd produce a huge amount of seeds of their own accord and self-regenerate anyway. But overall, over about five years, I reckon an annual cost of something like $250 a hectare to get saltbush into your vineyards. And as we see here, I think we can really reduce that as well because the fruit is a fantastic food source for the ants. And so the ants are coming along and they're harvesting that and they're taking and spreading it around the vineyard themselves. So we can probably come back to a sowing probably only every third row or so. So that brings that back to by a third again. So it becomes a very cost effective mechanism if you look at it over a longer term. Saltbush can certainly assist in other areas of vineyard operation, I believe, because we can cut back on our management costs with it. Once we have a good established stand, it competes very favourably with many of our summer growing weeds. If we have a look around here, we've got cow trot, for instance, which is just an obnoxious weed. It's a horrible thing. And the Riverland Sun Razor is full of it. And if we are to try and control it, it's a, an annual cost which is substantial in herbicides to do so. We don't want to till the land, so it really comes back to herbicides, and it, that, that does add up in, in expense. Whereas with this we're using a biological weed control mechanism that smothers out the, the cow trot, competes more than favourably with it and we just don't see it, it doesn't get a look in. So from that perspective it's, it's really, it does work extremely well. Some of the other benefits which we're finding with saltbush are we found an incredible increase in earthworm numbers where saltbush was growing. We, th this plant has capacity to produce a fair amount of biomass and a lot of that ends up in leaf fall back onto the ground which then becomes food source for not only the, the macroinvertebrates such as earthworms but also many of the microinvertebrates as well. And so they are coming to the surface and they are grabbing that source of food and taking it down into the soil and improving soil structure, infiltration rates and so on, all in the process. I guess uh, the, the really nice things about the growing of the saltbush between the vines has been the success that we've had in several sites, but it's not always that easy to establish. I mean, it, it hasn't worked fantastically everywhere. Um, and where it does establish well, it, it is a lovely plant. It's a good, thick mat. Of, of desirable species and now competing the, the cow trough has just been a, a lovely little um, benefit that we've, we've seen from it but also there's other benefits that we've, we've come through particularly in the way of uh, in increasing our beneficial invertebrate numbers has been really nice to see as well. If you want to know more about this program contact your industry grower association or the DPI customer service line 136 186.